I just want to start off this video by saying I am not a professional esports player, but I've created a live streaming setup on Twitch. I'm starting to game more often, and I wanted the best monitor to give me a slight advantage over most of the people out there, because let's face it, I'm not the best gamer. It was kind of interesting to find out that most of the professional esports players are not even using IPS panels. IPS panels, I constantly recommend over TN panels because they usually have better color accuracy, better viewing angles, really low response time, and pretty good brightness. But eSports players are sacrificing some of the color accuracy for a TN panel because they have the lowest response time. Now this monitor here from BenQ is the Zowie XL2746S. It's a TN panel, it's 1080p, and has a response time of 0.5 milliseconds. It's also 240 hertz. It has a pretty basic look, but it's also very well made. The backbone of it is using a very solid piece of metal attached to plastic to hold the monitor up. The beauty of it is it can swivel and go up and down in pretty much any direction. It can swivel forward, it can swivel backwards. There's a twisting mechanism on the bottom here that allows you to tilt the monitor from side to side, which is super convenient as someone's sitting beside you. You can rotate it in portrait mode by placing it all the way up and then turning it. It comes with this really neat puck that allows you to quickly change the settings. Now this puck has three different profiles for different color profiles that you wanna use on your monitor. Maybe you have one for gaming, maybe you have one when you're just browsing the desktop, but it allows you to quickly change it. And there's also a input button that allows you to go back and forth between the inputs on the back of the monitor. This just saves you some time from having to reach behind here, which is really nice. Now in terms of ports, you get a lot. Like you have HDMI 2.0, HDMI 1.4, you have a DVI port, which is kind of weird in 2020. You have a display port, and of course you have an audio jack on the back if you wanna hook up headphones. Now you also get a USB hub on the right hand side so you can hook up a couple of more peripherals to the left or right of the monitor. And then you have this cool little mechanism where you push into the monitor and comes out. Now this is fantastic because it acts as a place to hang your headphones. It's just one more thing that you don't have to worry about. So if you're an absolute lunatic, you can carry this to a LAN or a friend's house and it comes with two side panels to prevent glare or to prevent your buddy from spying on you while you're gaming against him. But the color accuracy is the most interesting thing. Now you do get poor viewing angles as it's typical with most TN panels, but it's fine for gamers as you're staring directly in front of the monitor. Color gamut is surprisingly pretty good. Color accuracy is okay. And even brightness is average. Like I wouldn't use this as my main display to content create on, but for gaming, the colors look fantastic. Just note, when you first take this out of the box and you select one of their profiles, the colors on it are Terrible. It looks like a unicorn puked all over the place. My suggestion is to put it on the standard profile and fine tune it to whatever looks best for you. If you're not sure what that is, I'll place the exact settings I used in the description down below, or you can use a color calibration tool. Now, gameplay is the most important. Like DIAC, which stands for dynamic accuracy, is a flicker technology that they use to prevent ghosting on the screen. It's hard to see on camera, it's hard to explain it, but it allows you to see the images a lot more clearly than compared to a monitor without it. At the end of the day, this monitor is not gonna blow any heads away in terms of color accuracy and design. What it will do well though, is give you a better gaming experience. When you combine things like 240 hertz, a 0.5 millisecond response time, DIAC and black equalizers, you end up with a slight competitive advantage over the people you're playing. Now I'm gonna be gaming a lot, over the next little while, so please follow me on Twitch. Also, if you have any questions about this monitor, feel free to ask me in the questions or description down below. Like the video if you liked it, stay safe, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video.